Yeah, I'll try to do that. Um, okay, so welcome everyone. Uh, once again, my name is Alexander Gorbachev. Uh, I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me. Is that okay? Yeah, okay, perfect. So uh, recently, two weeks ago, um, we just finished the um, online skills challenge, uh, which was hosted by our colleagues from World Skills UK. And uh, so we, we made a, a, like three modules for the competition, which is IT network systems administrations, again. And two of three modules uh, were developed by our colleagues from World Skills UK. And since uh, me and my team uh, was responsible to make the last module, which is the troubleshooting and secret challenges. So I will uh, tell you a little bit about so how how we um, change the approach uh, from our uh, I would say classical on-premises competition to full online competition. So regarding the content that we used, uh, first of all, uh, we changed the approach to the uh, infrastructure. So we used the native cloud environment and in classical IT network systems administration, we usually use some on-premises equipment, meaning some servers, network equipment, etc. And since we don't have uh, any on-premises anymore, at least for um, 2020 and 2021, so we had to migrate the whole test project infrastructure uh, to the public cloud. And it was a huge success. So in terms of uh, the test project, so we, uh, in this module, uh, we were uh, simulating the real-world uh, multi-region cloud deployment. Uh, and basically, we had the infrastructure located in the different parts of the uh, uh, public cloud infrastructure. Uh, we had a really small uh, test project, so it was only nine troubleshooting tickets uh, for some, I would say, classical uh, technologies such as the networks or uh, some uh, Linux operating system uh, tasks and some quite new uh, tasks like uh, some uh, troubleshooting of the cloud environment. And our focus was mostly on the tech skills, uh, but we had some soft skills as well, which we were not able to um, assess directly. Uh, but the result of this, uh, I would say, um, uh, having or not having the soft skills uh, was directly impact uh, the uh, the result of the tech skills which we were assessing. And so here, here you can see the the small uh, diagram of the, the the test project infrastructure. So it's a really really small one. So the competitors had only. Um, six virtual machines located in three regions, as I just told you. So it was uh, like physically or virtually located in the different parts of the global Microsoft Azure infrastructure. So you can see here the, uh, the three regions, the East US, uh, the West US, and South Central US. And the, uh, the reason why we locate um, this infrastructure uh, inside the different regions. This is because of the some um, things related to the quotas of the public cloud provider. So you, you don't uh, really, uh, you probably will not have a lot of uh, quotas for the compute resources inside the one, just one region. So you have to uh, split it across some uh, regions inside the infrastructure. In terms of the technology scope of the test project, um, if you will compare uh, the classical test project of the like World Skills International or uh, World Skills Europe or any national competition uh, for the IT Network Systems Administration, you can actually see that uh, this scope is pretty much small uh, if you will compare it to the uh, World Skills International. And the thing is, uh, so usually on the uh, international competition or Europe competition, we always have uh, the open test project. And during this competition, we had the totally secret test project. And the thing is, uh, once you have the secret test project, you don't have to make it uh, too complex. So we really made it um, 
sort of, uh, I would not say easy, because you still have to uh, figure out the the, uh, the the infrastructure, what is inside the infrastructure, and what the problem uh, you have to fix inside this infrastructure. But in terms of the scope, so as I, as I already told, we have some classical data transfer technologies, some system operations, and some uh, new block, which is the basic um, Microsoft Azure environment troubleshooting. In terms of platforms and tools that we use, so uh, here uh, we made a big progress, uh, I would say, because we had the fully automatical deployment of the, the whole test project infrastructure. And we used uh, the HashiCorp Terraform for this. And the reason why we use Terraform is because this tool is designed to, um, I would say, uh, write the, the template of your infrastructure as a code. And it's really cloud agnostic. So in our case, we are using the Microsoft Azure because, some, because of the some um, access capabilities for the competitors, but it's not necessarily can be the Microsoft Azure. So it can be um, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, or any other cloud provider, actually. And the, the one more tool that we used, uh, the PyATS framework for totally automatical marking. And, and this is really true. So we never touch the, any uh, competitors work manually. So once all competitors finish their working, so we just started the um, marking scenario. And after, I would say, 15 minutes, it was done. And on the left, you can actually see the, uh, the example of the output of the PyATS framework. And this is really cool because uh, together with the um, automatical deployment and the automatical marking, you can actually scale uh, this type of events up to, I don't know, so you, you can have 10, uh, 100, 1,000 competitors. So the, 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 the only question is that how many quotas the public cloud provider will give you, right? And in terms of the access to the infrastructure, as I told you just a couple of seconds ago, so we use the Azure, and uh, we use the Azure because of the some really convenient access mechanics uh, for the competitors. So uh, the Azure has something called Bastion hosts, and the competitors, they can actually access the infrastructure, the virtual machines, right inside the web browser. So they don't really have to have any additional, uh, you know, tools, any um, terminal emulators, etc., uh, which can work or cannot work on the competitors' PCs uh, using the different operating systems, you know, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, uh, um, etc. So uh, the same, the, actually the same mechanics to access the infrastructure for all competitors. And of course, we have uh, some nice infrastructure isolation. So uh, even they work uh, using the same cloud platform, uh, using the same cloud region, so they cannot access the infrastructure of each other. So because we use the, um, the isolation using uh, the, some sort of containers inside the um, Azure cloud, using, uh, which is called resource groups, and we have some sort of centralized um, access using the Azure Active Directory. And all the credentials, they are generated at the time when Terraform provisioned the whole test project infrastructure. And a couple of words about what is the um, infrastructure as code. Uh, what, do we, what do we mean when we tell that we use the test project infrastructure as code? So basically, um, the experts, meaning us and uh, me and my team, so we write some, uh, I would say, template in declarative style. So meaning that this example of this project for one competitor should have this number of virtual machines, this number of virtual networks, um, the IP addresses, et cetera, et cetera. And we actually, um, when we're running this scenario, uh, we, we know how many competitors do we have, and we just run in the 
uh, the cycle, right? And we accessing the cloud provider and telling, uh, so please, dear, dear cloud provider, can you give us this amount of infrastructure resources using our template? And the cloud provider just give us the um, required amount of resources, of course, if we have um, conferred our quotas. And we hold in the competition, and after the competition, we can destroy the whole infrastructure. And the good thing is, so we turn in the capital expenditures when we usually uh, buying the equipment, I mean, the servers, the network equipment, etc., etc., for the competition. So here, uh, we, we change it to the operational expenditure. So we actually renting the compute power from the cloud provider at the time for the competition. And right after the competition, we deallocating these uh, resources and we paying only for the, um, the amount of the resources uh, that we used, uh, using the time we used these resources. And this is it. And as I told you, so it can be any other cloud provider that fits uh, your particular skill. So it, it, it doesn't really work only for our skill, the IT Network Systems Administration, so it really works for, uh, I would say, almost any IT skill. And the lessons that we learned, so the, the first and foremost, the IT skills can be and should be moved to the public cloud because, so we have the all capabilities for this and we don't really need any on-premises infrastructure required anymore. So we need only the uh, computers for the competitors and stable internet connections. So it, it's not, should be necessarily fast, but rather stable. And the second one is that we should automate the provisioning and marking where possible. So because when we do it manually, so there, I can say that there is always the place for the human error, right? So once we automate this process, so we don't have the any uh, human error anymore, but so we have to uh, do really exhaustive uh, testing for all scenarios, including the provisioning of the infrastructure and the final marking. And the last but not least, so we really got that the secret test project is a, is a key. So it really helps uh, us to make the qualification assessment independent so, because usually when we have uh, the open test project, because, um, because this is open, competitors don't really demonstrate their skills. They demonstrate uh, some, what we call the exam knowledge. And it's really um, hard to distinguish two competitors, uh, which actually one of them can have uh, a lot of experience, right? And the second one can cannot have this experience, but they have like sort of, really good uh, memorization skills. And when we do open test project, we don't really have uh, the tools to distinguish these two types of competitors. And because this was the friendly competition, uh, nobody actually uh, was considered about any medals. And this gave us the opportunity to make the, the whole module uh, secret. And this is actually it, so this is what I want to share with you. Um, I've done. If you have any questions, so please, I will just post my contacts in chat in a couple of seconds.